Hey all, welcome back. Um, I think I'll just dispense with the gibberish and we'll just get straight in with the rest of the footage that I'd recorded previously that I couldn't fit on the previous video. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's just get on with it. Tuners have arrived, it's uh, Wilkinson ones now. I've got the open gear on these ones. Yeah. Uh, so to your side, what I'm just going to do now is try and work out roughly where to place them. So I've got the bridge kind of in place. I've got the nuts just kind of held on with a tiny bit of super glue. This tiny, tiny, tiny drop. Now I'm going to put some string. I'm going to try this anyway, see how we go on. Yeah, put that there. Put a bit of tape over that, hold it in place. Run that straight down over the nut. And give me an idea of where things are going to sit. Um, I think I need a bit of tape there. So I've got a couple of lines there that should help um, get an idea of where to put. The, uh, the first, the first two tuners. I just don't want the strings. Um, I don't want the strings to come off the nut and then go in the way, because that that'd be enough. If they come out a little bit, that's absolutely fine. But yeah, this is just another another guide, a guidance.
That's not too bad that. That's not too bad at all. Um, take a bit of material over here, I think. Just to sort of balance the sides up a bit. But yeah, that's that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. So far so good. Tuner holes. Oh, oh they're so stressful. <laughs> anyway. So this is how I do the setup for using the laser. I made these sort of stands and then the guitar neck headstock on there and then I just use something under the heel to until I get the headstock nice and level. That's looking great. I'm going to run this again. If I just leave this alone and don't touch anything and just hit start, it'll do exactly again in exactly the same place. So that's what I'll do and it'll just get me the engraving a little bit deeper. So I'll do that and I'll see you in a minute. Now just a quick sound. As usual. And then put the last of air. Look at that. Superb. Absolutely. 
absolutely fantastic. That's quite smart, I like that. That's got to look great with the finish on. Um, but look, it's kind of done. There's more to go, there's there's always more to go. Same with the heel as well, I've got a lot of uh, tweaking to do with the heel and stuff, get it all just right. That's, that's the way it generally goes. You always, like, you know, you get it kind of there and then you have to just do a lot of tweaking, a little fine work and stuff. But that's good. And the back of the body's looking a little better now. Got all the scores off. Yeah, I take it that's probably about a millimetre and a half or so. That's not got these little marks to get rid of. That's just from the river. Um, you have to remember I'm not to pause. If you pause with the, the river on it, it makes these little circles, so just gotta keep moving. <laughs> But no, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with that. Yeah. I'll leave it here. And we'll come back. Um, we'll carry on with fiddling with things. Uh, possibly get the bridge on. Look at getting the bridge lined up and screwed down. Uh, and then we can look at routing out for the pickup and things. Get those things done. Maybe the control cavities. Drive it out. Just bits and pieces, eh? Plenty to do. Plenty to do. Anyway, thanks for uh, watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to like, comment, etc. And I'll see you all again soon. Cheers.